We need to round the numbers below to the nearest thousand. So first, we have 2,392. Now because we're rounding to the nearest thousand, we need to find our thousands place, which in a four digit number is always the first digit. Now what I like to do is highlight or circle the place value that we're rounding to. And then what we can do is underline the digit to the right. So because we're rounding to the nearest thousand, we can underline our hundreds digit. Now remember, with rounding, if it's four or less, we round down. So here, because we have a three in the hundreds, we're rounding our thousands down. And when we round down, the digit in the thousands, or the digit that we're rounding to, stays the same. So this two is going to stay a two, and all of our other digits turn into zeros, so we get 2000. Now here, we can see the number 2392 on a number line, and we can see that it's closer to 2000 than to 3000. But I'll come back to the number lines at the end of the video. For now, let's focus on the method. We're rounding to the nearest thousand, so we highlight our thousands digit and underline the digit to the right. This time, we have a nine in our hundreds. And remember, if it's five or more, we round up. And when we round up, the digit that we've circled increases by one. So this three is going to become a four because we're rounding up. All of our other digits turn into zeros, so we get 4,000. Now we have 7,018. Again, we highlight our thousands digit, underline the digit to the right, and we have a zero. Now because that's less than four, we're rounding down. Because it's four or less, we round down, so the seven is going to stay a seven. All of our other digits turn into zeros, so we get 7,000. And finally, we have 5,544. We highlight the place value, underline the digits to the right, and because it's a five, if it's five or more, we round up. And that means that this five in the thousands is going to become a six, so we get 6,000. Now for the number lines help us to understand what we're really doing when we're rounding to the nearest thousand. We can see that this first number is between 2000 and 3000, this number between 3000 and 4000, and so on. And remember we underline the hundreds digit, and what we have with each square is an increase of 100. So for this first number line we would have 2000, 2100, 2200, 2300, and so on. Remember, 2,500 is going to be right in the middle of 2,000 and 3,000. So here, 2,392 is just a little bit less than 2,400. But because it's less than 2,500, we know that we round down. Now for this number, 3,971, if we look at our number line, Remember, we're going up in steps of 100 with each square, so this number is between 3,900, which would be here, and 4,000. And we can see that it's closer to 4,000 than it is to 3,000, so that's why we round up. That's really what we're doing when we're rounding. Now this number is interesting, because it's less than 7,100. So it's in fact very close to 7,000. So that's why we round down. And here we can see that because the number is more than 5,500, it's closer to 6,000 than it is to 5,000. And that's why we round up.